Shalom. First off, I want to give all praise, honor, and glory to Yahweh, Bahashem, Yahweh Shai, Bahashem, Kodash, double honors to the apostles and the elders and teachers of Great Millstone who rule well and teach well. It's Brother Yahweh Shai Zion just coming through with this real quick message, man. The spirit um, just hit me. <clears throat> and I've been working a lot, brothers. It's been seriously crazy, but, you know, to the spirit, man, <laughs> you know, I'm doing what I can, man. So, Psalm 43, I just wanted to highlight this real quick, you know, because, you know, brothers and some of the sisters or whatever will get depressed, man, you know? And if you're dealing with that, you just got to understand, man, like, you know, this truth is what cleanses you, you know, really, the word cleanses you. So, you know, even in those hard times or whatever, ultimately, when you get delivered and it's going to happen, you know, Yahawaratas are it be you, but that's when, you know, you actually look back on those hard times and appreciate it, and uh, you definitely don't miss it, but it makes victory that much more sweet, so I'm going to get into these scriptures, this is Psalm 43 in 3, it says, O send out thy light and thy truth, let them lead me and bring me Unto thy holy hill and unto thy tabernacles. Okay, because, you know, the Lord really in the scriptures, you know, says a day in thy courts is better than a thousand. And it's talking about out here, you know, the way that the world runs compared to the Lord's ways in the Lord's house of righteousness. It's not like this. You know, it's not like th these uh, people who deviate from the truth and deviate from, you know, what is righteous and what is right. And no matter how much you try to be, you know, fellowshipping with people and try to keep it real with them and uh, things like that, we're still all subject to go off. And that's why you're not supposed to put confidence in men, you know, anybody, whether you have a spouse or whatever you call it nowadays, man, they call it situationships. It's absolute madness, um, which really is supposed to be your, you know, your wife or whatever, or, you know, your husband, right? If you're a woman, you know, you have a husband, only one. You're only supposed to have one, but the society is taught otherwise, man, and that that leads to bondage, you know, and it's tough to fully trust people because, at the end of the day, you know, really all you can do is trust in the Lord. OK, now that's not saying to trust, not trust brothers or whatever, because, again, you trusted in the Lord and we are the body of Yahweh Shai. So although we are subject to the flesh in the sinful nature of the flesh, we fight it through the spirit of the Lord, which is the truth. OK. And that's where we find joy. You know, verse four says, then will I go unto the altar of the most high Okay, and unto God, it says, my exceeding joy. Yea, upon the harp will I praise thee, O power, my power. Okay, which is, O God, my God. And that's a beautiful thing, man. And, uh, you know, we need to start focusing on these, these scriptures. Okay, and then there's a prophecy of Yahweh Shai following that. I'm not going to read that right now because it's, not the, the point of the lesson. You know, remember, precept must be upon precept. In line upon line. And what's the, what does that mean? That, that means that we have to touch this right here. Okay. And hit cross-reference. That's going to show you the other scriptures that coincide with that. Psalm 57 and 3. He shall send from heaven and save me. From reproach of him that would swallow me up. Salah. God shall send forth his mercy and his truth. See? So he's going to send forth the word of the Lord. Either through the men of the Lord, the prophets. Okay? Or through you reading the word of the Lord. Nonetheless, he sends forth the word. Remember, this word is, is other people are blinded by it. So they, they don't know. What's happening? They don't they don't know where to go to look for truth. 
you know, they don't know where to go. Because the other philosophies don't bring about truth. They bring about confusion. Okay. The real truth is the word of the Lord. That's our lamp. Psalm 119 and 105. It says, none. Thy word is a lamp unto my feet and a light unto my path. Now, that, that's very comforting. That, that means comfort. When you have a light to your path, man, you're comforted knowing that you know where you're going. If you were running around confused, one time, man, I was walking in the um, in the forest or whatever, right? Or the woods or whatever. <laughs> it's not really a forest. I don't know if you could call it that. But I was walking in the woods and I deviated from the path. And I figured, you know what, let's just go exploring or whatever, right? I'm like, fuck it, you know, excuse my language. But I went out there and I kept on going and I pretty much uh, forgot where the original path was because there was no more clear direction. And I ended up getting lost, man. This was like years ago. And I ended up getting lost and I couldn't find my way back to the path. And after like 20 minutes, I started kind of panicking, man. Because I didn't know how many miles that that went back. You know, I, I didn't know how far I was out. And anything can happen when you don't know where you are, you know. So it, 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 that that's exactly that. And I relate that to the truth and other philosophies. If you don't know where you're going, which is ultimately the ways of the scriptures, all right? If you don't, in, in the name of Yahweh, Bahashem Yahweh Shai, if you don't have the names of Yahweh, Wa Yahweh Shai, then you are not going to receive salvation. All right, bottom line, because his name alone is excellent. And you have to understand that he's not just going to give his name to everybody. You know, you ever meet somebody and you just give them a fake name. They're like, hey, what's your name, man? You just be like, you know, whatever, you know. It's like, because you, or you don't even say your name. You're like, don't worry about it. Or I'm Jay, you know, whatever, you know what I'm saying? You give them like an alias or something. It's like not even really your name. Or like a nickname or something, you know. It's not even pertaining to you. It's just like something, a descriptive name. A descriptive nick, nickname. Because you don't really want them to know who you are. Or they know they don't know you. And it's the same thing with these philosophies, man. You know, they're, they're nothing. They, they don't mean anything. And the Lord's only going to reveal his name, which is everything he represents in his word to the men of the Lord and, and the women of the Lord, man. Okay? So the word is going to literally bless you tremendously, but you have to get into it. So those comforting scriptures, you want to hit cross-reference on the Blue Letter Bible app so you can guide yourself through this, right? Through the word. Stay on the path. Okay? And that's just beautiful, man. So, Psalm 25 and 4 and 5. It says, Show me thy ways, O Yahweh. Teach me thy paths. Lead me in thy truth. Again, that's the light. That's the, that's the light. It says, and teach me, for thou art the God of my salvation. On thee do I wait all the day. And that, so basically, that's just having faith that you're going to be delivered. That is eventually, you know, we're going to be delivered from this oppressive American system. It's constantly taxing you and taxing you and taxing you and taxing you. And the only way to free yourself basically from the bondage of this financial bondage over here. And even then, they're still taxing you. So you're really, you really still in bondage. It's just a lesser form of it is through diligence. And, it, and it, I mean to the extreme, you know. And I've been trying to get out of a hole or whatever that I've been in for a while because I finally got you know, set free from some things that were, you know, plaguing me or whatever financially. And, um, you know, things are looking up right now. So, you know, for now, which is great. And I think I fixed the problem, but it's just basically, you know, combating laziness. You know, you have to fight against that, man. Especially you Akim that are in sales or whatever. And you have an opportunity to 
to hustle hard and reap the benefits. There's nothing wrong with reaping the benefits of your hard work, man. You see what I'm saying? Because you reap what you sow, man. The scripture says, the soul of the diligent shall be made fat and to consider the ways of the ant, thou sluggard. Okay? And with more, you can do more. And to whom much is given, much is required. You have to be able to, to share more and to give more alms and be more charitable. Okay? And also be wise with your money. And uh, that's all from what? The scriptures. And before this all took place, you know, I made that video. The soul of the diligent shall be made fat because, you know, it's like Michael Jordan was saying, you know, they asked him, you know, hey, you know, do you ever get nervous or whatever when you got to take the last shot? He's like, nah. Nah, I don't get nervous because, you know, the same thing. I'm, I'm visualizing the, the shot that I'm taking each time in practice. Taking the last shot each time in practice is the last time. So when I get to that time, I'm not even worried about it. It's just another shot. And that's how it's got to be, okay? That's why, you know, the Spirit of the Lord is on Great Millstone. And to be diligent with the videos is very important. You know, that's why even at 12 o'clock at night right now, I'm doing this, man. Because it's very important. So I pray this was edifying uh, to somebody. And I'm going to read like one or two more scriptures. Because it's important. Psalm 143 and 10, it says, Teach me to do thy will, for thou art my power. Thy spirit is good. Lead me into the land of uprightness. That's right. Okay. Ultimately, the salvation that shall be in the kingdom, that's where you're going to be led through, you know, following the word of the Lord. All right. And to finalize everything, Proverbs 3 and 5 and 6. Or rather, Proverbs chapter 3, verse 5 and 6. Trust in the Lord, Yahweh, with all thine heart, and lean not unto thine own understanding. In all thy ways acknowledge him, and he shall direct thy paths. Okay, so basically, man, disregard your personal feelings of, you know, depression or worry and, and things of that nature. You know what I'm saying? The Lord didn't give you the spirit of fear, but the spirit of power and love and of a sound mind. And that sound mind comes from sound teaching. Sound doctrine, all right, without any error and mixture of doctrines and philosophies of America, which is oppression and just wickedness, you know. So stay steady until next time. Yahabashim El Shai, Barakathum, Kol Akim of the elect. Shalom.